here today I thought that I would kind of talk to you guys about how to make friends a lot of you all have been requesting this video so I thought that I would um, tell you guys kind of how I made friends and different tips for you guys because I know a lot of you are either moving or starting high school or starting off to go to college which is you know all exciting but it can be kind of scary when you don't really know anyone um, at the school that you're going to so I moved twice. I moved in second grade and in eighth grade. Both were in the middle of the school years. So, you know, I kind of went in being the new girl, which it definitely wasn't bad because everyone knew that I was there. So they tried to make an effort, you know, to talk to me and make me feel welcome and stuff like that. So that was definitely a plus. But then I am definitely not an outgoing person. I'm introverted and shy and a little bit reserved, you know, that whole package. So having all of this attention on me was kind of a lot. Um, so it was kind of, you know, uncomfortable, didn't seem natural, but you know, you just kind of got to go with it because making friends isn't easy. There's no foolproof method to, you know, just walk into school and all of a sudden have everyone being your best friend. But the number one thing that you want to remember is that you want to be yourself. Don't go into a new situation and try and act like someone that you're not because you're going to attract people that um, don't have the same interests as you. So, you know, you're trying to make friends and not being yourself, it just kind of contradicts everything. So just be yourself and I know, especially in high school, you want to be part of the popular crowd. You want to be a part of that group because it just seems like cool and that's amazing and they seem like they have it all going for them. But honestly, being a part of the cool crowd isn't always the best option. You know, if you have common interests with them and you get along with them, then yeah, that's fine. You know, be friends with them, all for it. But if you're trying to conform yourself and your personality and even your beliefs or whatever, um, you're changing them in order to fit into the popular crowd or whatever other kind of crowd um, you're interested in being a part of, then you're not going to end up being happy. You're going to be sacrificing things that you care about in order to fit in with them and it's just all around not going to be a good thing. So just try and be yourself as much as you can. I know, you know, like peer pressure and stuff like that you want to fit in. Everyone just wants to fit in and have a place. But um, know your boundaries, I guess, is the main thing to say. Know your boundaries in how far you're willing to go in certain ways so that you don't compromise your integrity and who you are in order to be a part of a certain group or be friends with a certain person. Now, that's more of like a high school thing. And then moving in the middle of school years, yes, it's hard, especially when I moved to a small town and everyone kind of has their group together that they've known since they were in elementary school. So breaking into that is definitely difficult, but I promise it can be done. I have friends, but it did take a while. You know, you've got to learn about people and understand who they are and where they come from and earn their trust and stuff like that. So it's definitely not a quick process, so you've just got to be patient about it and it will happen you know you've just got to make an effort to do it especially if you're not very outgoing you're more of a reserved person like to keep your to you like to keep to yourself like i do then um it can definitely be more challenging but try and make an effort to talk to people in your classes um you know ask them hey do you want to get together and study for this exam that we have coming up or um, invite a group of people to go to the movies or go to ice cream or something like that. I don't know. Just try and get involved with um, different people. And then, especially in college, you want to try to get involved in a lot of um, organizations and stuff like that. I haven't, and that's one of the main things that I have regretted of my college experience because I haven't met as many people as I think I could have had I joined you know, different organizations and groups and stuff that they have on campus. So especially for freshmen, it's really important because a lot of you are going off to college, you're on your own for the first time, you don't know anybody, and it can be scary and daunting and, you know, it's exciting, but it's kind of like, am I going to meet anybody? Don't worry about it. Everyone is in the same shoe as you are. So just, um, you know, you've got to make that effort. Join clubs or something to get 
to know people and it keeps you busy along with your schoolwork of course is the most important but I mean you've got to have a social life so whether it's you know joining a club or Greek life I know a lot of um, my friends have joined um, either a fraternity or a sorority and they love it you meet a lot of people that way um, you know you've just got to make an effort and if you go to college and you um, know people that are going there with you that's definitely you know a plus but you don't want to just restrict yourself to just the people that you know um, so say you have a couple friends that you know of that are going to the same school as you, you graduated high school together, um, you want to branch out your friendship because otherwise it's just going to be you all and then it's like you see everybody else having fun and it's like okay whatever. You just want to branch out and soar the horizons or whatever that quote saying thing is. Make it a fun thing. Don't make it you know something like a task that you have to do and you feel like oh my gosh I've got to talk to people today because I don't want to be lonely like I want to have friends. So just try and make it more of an upbeat fun thing and people will um, you know respond to that. People want to be around someone who's happy and enjoying things, not someone who's like seems like a Debbie Downer. So the main things that you want to take from this are first of all when making new friends or going into a new situation, you just want to always be true to yourself and be yourself, obviously. And the second thing is you've got to try and maintain a positive attitude because it is not um, you know, a simple thing. It's not a quick thing. It takes time to make friends. Um, like I said, because you've got to earn the trust and kind of break your way into the groups. Um, but um, it is definitely possible and it is not something that you need to stress out about because it will happen. What is supposed to happen will happen. That's kind of my motto for life. Not to stress because I stress too much. But um, just try and keep a positive attitude. And then the last thing is you've got to make the effort. Um, you can't just sit around and wait for somebody else to ask you to do something because um, chances are they may not know that you don't know that many people and they may not know um, to try and include you. So try and make the effort to ask them to study or go to ice cream or go to dinner or go do this or study at the library or whatever you want to do. Um, just try and make an effort to do that. So that's kind of all the advice that I have on making friends and trying to you know get involved in stuff and meet new people but if you have any specific questions that maybe this didn't really um, help you with leave those in the comments below and I would love to help you guys and answer those but yeah I do hope that this was helpful for you guys and hopefully this school year will be amazing and you all will have you know an abundance of friends and a social life and fun things to do so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you are new please hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye! <laughs> and we decided that we wanted to do the Chubby Bunny Challenge. So basically, if you don't know what the Chubby Bunny, bunny Challenge is... <laughs>